Elizabeth Elliot was the one that said, when terrible things happen, there are two choices, and only two. We can trust God, or we can defy God. We can believe that God is God, that God's still got the whole world in God's hands and knows exactly what God is doing. Or we can believe that God is not God and that we are at the awful mercy of mere chance. Well, sometimes we are at the awful mercy of mere chance. You know, I saw in the news today where there was another drive-by shooting. Was it God's will that these young people got killed? Absolutely not. Was it God's will that the, that the uh, old woman got hit by the bus in New York City and was killed? Absolutely not. But what most people don't realize when they look at a situation like this is God is on the other side helping make things better. That we as human beings have free will and sometimes we get mixed up. Sometimes we're in the wrong place at the wrong time. But God's always there to help make it better. To help resolve it, to help heal it. And I know absolutely for a fact that everyone is helped, ministered to, loved, comforted on the other side. And sometimes if we're in the right frame of prayer, well, in those moments of time, I have spoken to countless people that have been guided to go the other way and to stay clear of what would have been a tragic situation. In 1 Corinthians 13, verse 12, it says, Now we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I will be fully known as I am to be fully known. God has a plan for our world and for our lives. And God will be there to help. God is not willful or intentional to bring harm to any person, anywhere, anytime. God supports us and God loves us. And sometimes in this life that we live, we get touched by circumstances, the reasons for which we can't comprehend. But of this, we can be certain. God will be there to help. God will be there to heal in the midst of chaos. God remains steadfast. In the midst of tragedy, God remains a pillar of strength to those that are living to those that have been taken to the other side of life. And that's important to say. It's the other side of life. Even in the midst of our own confusion, God promises and God's love will remain unchanged. And so we must turn our fears and our doubts over to God, even when it just seems like there is no sense at all to what is happening. I tell you that God will bring back life and God will bring back healing on both sides of the veil. And everybody concerned will be helped. One of the main reasons that we're Christians is we believe in life after death. And we believe that there is something beyond what we call the grave, beyond this body. We realize this body is moved by a soul. And the soul that is in the body, well, it will continue to live long after the body. You will continue to live. I will continue to live. And all of our loved ones continue to live. And even though invisible to our earthly eyes, 
sometimes we can feel their presence. And sometimes we know without a doubt that they continue on their path and they're not alone. God is with them. So no matter what happens, if, if you get laid off and have that kind of tragedy, if you have someone tell you that I don't love you anymore and I don't want to be with you, know that God remains steadfast and God's love for you is steadfast and God will be there to bring about healing, restoration, renewal, and new life. God bless you.